You're listening to the Thriving Mindfully Podcast with Ananda League. Hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by and tuning in. You're about to listen to the strategic CEO of your life series. This series is all based on the lessons that my mother and loving, wise, and well ancestor, Teresa B. Garten Leek, taught me through her living and what she continues to share with me as my loving, wise, and well ancestor. That's right. My mom is in the spirit world and continues to bless me with her wisdom. Join me for what I hope will help you step into the strategic CEO of your life, your relationships, and your career. All right, y'all, get ready. It's about to go down. Enjoy. Welcome back to a conversation that we've been having on what it means to be the strategic CEO of your life, relationships, and career. If you listen to the previous episodes, you know that we're looking at what it means to be a strategic CEO through the lens of an acronym of these two words, strategic and CEO. We've recorded a couple of episodes that have explored the meaning of the first three letters of strategic. Today, we're going to look at the fourth letter, align. But before we do that, let's just walk through what we've already talked about. So the S in strategic is a reminder to show up as the real you. You're showing up with self-awareness, self-definition, self-love, self-worth, and self-celebration. The T is a reminder to take great care of yourself by being soft as fuck with yourself. The R is resource yourself with support. That is getting the support you need from people, experiences, tools, products, services, and training. That can come in the form of therapy, coaching, accountability partners, experiences like going to a conference, a retreat, taking a class. It could be using tools like this podcast. It could be using products that help you take care of yourself. A whole bunch of things. Now today we're talking about Align, the A in strategic. And before we go deeper. I want to ask you, when you hear the word align, what does it mean to you? A-L-I-G-N. What does it mean when you hear the word align? For me, when I hear the word align, I immediately go to the question, what does it mean, Ananda, to align yourself? And in my own words, And in the words that I use with clients that I get to work with and members of the academy, the Thriving Mindfully Academy that I get to serve, align is to embody, to embody intentions, to embody intentions. It also means to live in a way that honors and expresses intentions. For me, a line is to embody my intentions and to live in a way that honors and expresses my intentions. So for me, my overall intention, and I have intentions each and every day, and they shift and change, but the core of it is to be present well in the real me. That is my intention. That is what it means for me to be in alignment. When I am present, well, in the real me. Take a moment. You can pause this podcast right now and explore a couple of things. What does it mean to align yourself? What are your intentions for your life? 
How do you honor and express those intentions? What does it feel like to embody your intentions? So those are just some some prompts, some journaling questions, some reflections that you can use to get clearer on what does it mean to align yourself. Now, another piece of that, align yourself with the seasons and systems that help you take great care of yourself and take action in your life, relationships, and career as a strategic CEO involves two words, systems and seasons, seasons and systems, systems and seasons. So a season can be a lot of different things. When I first hear the word season, I I go immediately to the four seasons of nature, the spring, the summer, the fall, and the winter. Season also for me means a defined period of time that helps you focus on aligning yourself. A defined period of time that helps you focus on aligning yourself, aligning yourself with your intentions. I'm just going to pause and let that sit with you. What does season mean to you? What are some seasons that you have used in your life to focus on your intentions and embodying them and expressing and honoring them? A season could be a week where you set aside time just to focus in. It could be a month, a 30-day period, a 14-day period, a 60, 90, 120-day period. It could be a quarter of the year, those first three months, the second three months, the third three months, the fourth three months of the year. It could be spring, summer, fall, and winter. You get what I'm saying. You get to define what the season is because it's a defined time a defined period of time that you get to focus in on aligning yourself that is living in a way that honors and expresses your intentions. Now the systems, the systems are these tools that you can use to help yourself get in alignment with your intentions. And some of those systems in my life include human design, astrology, which includes the wisdom of the moon. It includes thriving mindfully, the heart-centered approach to being present well and the real me based on my life experiences and lessons. What systems do you use or can you use or do you want to use to bring yourself in alignment with your intentions? It can be systems that are rooted in your spiritual practices. It can be systems that are rooted in wisdom from different cultures. It can be guidelines, practices, a whole host of things. But that's something for you to explore. That's something for you to explore. So I'm going to stop right there and say, I'd love to hear from you what this podcast has meant to you. When you hear how to be strategic with yourself, how to serve as a strategic CEO of your life, relationships and career by aligning yourself with seasons and systems that help you take care of yourself and take action. What does all that mean to you? Because I'd really like to know. So take a moment wherever you find this podcast and share in the comment sections 
or send me a DM, a direct message on social media, or email me at ananda at anandaleek.com. I want to invite you to stay tuned for some of my offerings that you might want to take advantage of. See you next time. The Thriving Mindfully Meditation class is coming back to D.C., y'all, starting October 25th through December 20th. We're meeting on Wednesday evenings beginning October 25th from 5.30 to 6.15 p.m. at Key CBDT, 1517 U Street Northwest in Washington, D.C. This class, the Thriving Mindfully Meditation class, is a donation-based class that invites you to show up as you are and to bring your presence. Donations will be asked at the end of the class. Give what you can give. For more information, go to anandaleek.com forward slash movement. You don't need to register. You can drop in any time. See you at the Thriving Mindfully Meditation class beginning October 25th and ending on December 20th. 5.30 to 6.15 p.m. at Key Cretone CBDT, 1517 U Street Northwest. Take care, y'all. Bye. Did you know that mindful self-care is your birthright and your superpower for being the real you and serving others in your life, relationships, and career? You get 1,440 minutes each day. You are worth 45 minutes of mindful self-care twice a month. That's right. I want you to commit to 45 minutes of mindful self-care twice a month with my support during the Thriving Mindfully Academy's mindful self-care classes that are offered on the second and the fourth Mondays of each month. Join me on September 11th, 25th, October 9th, 23rd, November 13th, and 27th, and the last class is December 11th from 8 to 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time via Zoom. Go to anandaleek.com forward slash movement to get your ticket. Register now and I'll see you in the monthly Thriving Mindfully Academy's Mindful Self-Care class. See you then. Bye. I'm super excited to offer the Soft as Fuck Sunday series in D.C. That's right. If you're in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area on September 24th or December 10th, join me for an amazing afternoon of meditation, journaling, intention setting, drawing, community sharing with a sound bath meditation moon and seasonal wisdom and me holding sacred space for you to connect with the autumn equinox on september 24th from 2 to 3 p.m and to prepare for the winter solstice on december 10th from 2 to 3 p.m all of these classes will be held at key Cretone cbdt 1517 u street northwest in dc you can go to anandalik.com forward slash soft to get your tickets for $23. I'll see you at Soft as Fuck Sundays. Bye. One of the ways that I've been able to prepare myself and to take action from a grounded place in my body, in my breath, in my life is through human design. Human design is an amazing self empowerment and it's I N hyphen P O W E R M E N T 
empowerment because it's from the inside out. It's a self-empowerment and self-discovery tool that was introduced to me in 2021 through a coaching experience. And over the past two years, I have experimented with it and integrated it into my life, my relationships, and my career, and my business. And it is a lifelong journey. It's a lifelong experiment. I am now bringing it into a space where I'm offering it to folks like you to support you in preparing yourself and taking action in your life, your relationships, and your career and business. It marries my thriving mindfully heart-centered approach to being present well in the real you and I use it with my coaching clients I use it with the thriving mindfully academy members and now I want to invite you to explore it with me as your human design doula in human design you are called to give birth if you will to yourself the real you And we do that every single day. We do it every single moment. We get 1,440 minutes each and every day. And in each minute, you're birthing yourself. I mean, you're always changing. You're always growing. And so in order to navigate that process, I'm here acting as a doula, someone who can midwife you through this experience help you understand what human design is based on where you are in your life help you take the parts of human design that resonate with you the most because at different times different things resonate with us and help you understand it help you see how you can use it as a tool to connect with your own body's awareness and wisdom. If you're interested, I want to invite you to visit my website. Go to anandalik.com forward slash human design to learn more about how we can work together. I offer two types of readings. There's the basic reading, and then there's a more advanced reading once you have an understanding of human design. Check it out. There's also a video that walks you through my own human design experience and gives you some basic information about human design. There are other podcast episodes for the Thriving Mindfully podcast that you can check out. Just go to anandalik.com forward slash podcast or wherever you find this podcast you can look and see in the archive the human design episodes so I look forward to connecting with you more about human design If you're looking for ways to inspire and empower yourself to be present well in the real you, and you want to take advantage of some of the things that I use, check out my Amazon store. Go to amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Anandalik, and there you'll find the Thriving Mindfully store which is filled with recommendations on things that I have used in my own life, relationships, and career to be present well in the real me. Check out my three mindfulness books, my yoga and self-love inspired novel, Love's Troubadours, my mindful creativity memoir, That Which Awakens Me, and my mindful technology memoir, Digital Sisterhood. In addition to various books, various products, essential oils, crystals, 
wisdom card decks, all kinds of things that I've used in my own life and spiritual and self-care practices to be who I am today, including the sound bowls that I use, the Koshi chimes, the ocean drum, you name it, it's there. Check it out. Thank you for patronizing me on Amazon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to the Thriving Mindfully podcast. If you're ready to be inspired and empowered with my coaching support, join me in the Thriving Mindfully Academy. Visit anandalik.com forward slash academy. Now, if you're ready to dive deeper and move past your comfort zone with my one-on-one coaching program, book a discovery call with me today. Visit anandalik.com. If you need something juicy to read, check out my three mindfulness books, Love's Troubadours, a self-love and yoga-inspired novel, That Which Awakens Me, a mindful creativity memoir, and Digital Sisterhood, a mindful technology memoir. Go to anandalake.com forward slash books. All of my books are available on amazon.com. Well, that about wraps us up. And as I always like to say, may we all continue to embrace thriving mindfully in everything that we think, feel, say, and do. See you next time.